It's a nice comfortable ride. But it's very well specced, isn't it? I like the very clear rear view mirrors. If we can agree sort of numbers and a price on your car and everything, then you're happy this is the car for you? Yeah, definitely, yeah. I think, um, you know, subject to those details being agreed. The awkward then, bit, where we fall out. Yeah. <laughs> OK, so, I mean, it's pretty straightforward then. Uh, it's 995 for ours, two for yours. You happy with that? Yes, that's OK. You sure? Yes. That's agreed. Excellent, thank you very okay. much. Thank, thank you. you, thank you. Thank you. Um, Nigel and Pauline haven't just bagged themselves a new car. They also get to meet Jeff Cox himself. Hello there. Hello, Hello. Jeff, how are you? How are you? <laughs> <laughs> I bought a car from here in 1976. It was a Hillman Minx. Hillman Hunter Minx? Hunter. <laughs> <Hunter. laughs> yeah. Have you still got the Minx? No. no, no. That, that went a long, long time. It was the best car you ever had. Yeah. It lasted six years. Yeah. Anyway, nice to meet you yeah, again. Thank, thank, you, you, very very much. thank you very much, thank Jeff. You, Jeff. Thank Jeff. you, Jeff. Thank you, Jeff. With this sale, Jeff Cox has eased into an early lead, netting a profit of £1,215. Flush with their success, Sean and Craig head off to do some lunchtime shopping. Or oh, so they think. 20 burgers and 20 sausages. Sake. What? What? <laughs> oh my days. <laughs> I've actually done quite a good job. Funny prank, Jamie. You've got too much time on your hands. You need to spend less time trying to cover my car in post it notes and more time trying to sell your cars. I think it's brilliant. Well played. It looks like Battenberg cake. Well, you've well and truly thrown the gauntlet down now. This means war, Jamie. They've covered my Range Rover in post it notes. Yeah, it's ridiculous. They're going to get something big time. 